Chicago Bulls, Atlanta Hawks involved in a tight one from the A. In the first quarter, how about this dime from Trey Young inside the Clint Capella? Catch me if you can. Beautiful bounce pass from Ice Trey. Second half we go. DeMar DeRozan getting to the money. This is a grown man juice at the rim. Not once. Make it twice. DeRozan and one. We're tied up at 100. A little over three minutes to go. DeAndre Hunter going right at DeRozan and leaving with a bucket. Still tied. It's 107 apiece. Under a minute to go. Trey Young. Cold-blooded deep three-pointer to give his squad to leave. Bulls need a bucket down a point in the closing second. Derrick Jones gets the offensive board and is fouled. He make the first free throw to tie this game up, but he misses the second that would have gave the Bulls the lead. So we would end up in overtime. And the free basketball. How about Bogdanovich somehow, some way for his team? He made a play that's behind the rim. Shot clock winding down. Bogey at 28, 7, and 5. Bulls need a bucket now down three. Zach Levine does just that. We got a two-point game with a second to go. Chicago calls on their star, DeRozan. And can you believe it? He's fouled for three. DeRozan would make the first two free throws and also make the third. So Chicago's now got the one-point lead with half a second to go. Seemingly in the driver's seat for the win until this happens. What up, Duke? How about AJ Green? Literally just flings it, reversing in midair and scoring the game winning bucket at the buzzer. And the Atlanta Hawks take the tight one over the Chicago Bulls by one in OT. I still don't believe Trey Young gets enough credit for his consummate greatness. You know, he struggled from the field in his basketball game, but when you needed a, a, a basket, Trey Young was right there for his team. He made a deep three pointer that helped them get to overtime. And in the extra period, Trey got some help from Bogdanovich and obviously Griffin with the game winner. But for some odd reason, Trey Young never gets credit. I don't understand it. He's had his issues with the Atlanta Hawks organization of late head coach Nate McMillan, to be specific. I just want to take some time here and say Trey, Trey, Trey Young, even on a bad night, still gave you 19 points and 14 assists. The Atlanta Hawks are not off to the greatest of stars. Jante Murray's been down with injury, something that Trey Young rarely ever has happened in his career, by the way. Uh, but they're still seventh out east, and they have all the time in the world to make a push here later on this year. But all Trey Young will ever get is blame, 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 blame. Never any credit. For his greatness. You know, one, one thing, Trey, I'm, I'm watching here with Trey. The, the guy that he got traded for, Luka Doncic, to me, is clear as day a better player than Trey Young is right now. Just minute for minute, he's better than Trey Young. I'll give you that. But later in games, Trey Young is a lot more dependable than Luka and a lot of other young guys from his class and other classes around him. He's the guy that can make those big time shots. And I always felt like he never gets enough credit for his ability to not only take but make big-time shots no matter what his night has been from the field. 